Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So this week I wanna talk again about weight shift in the downswing and into the fall through, but I will get a little bit more specific with positioning and maybe give you guys a different kind of drill that may resonate with you guys better. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to see more golf related content. So the problem that a lot of players have when it comes to weight shift is after they strike the golf ball, they can't seem to get the vast majority of their weight to finish on their lead side. So they actually hang back and stay behind the golf ball too long into the finish like this. So you can clearly see that there's a lot more pressure on my trail side. Now, the best ball strikers will always tend to finish ahead of the golf ball their weight is like basically a hundred percent on their lead side they appear to be standing almost directly on top of their lead leg now the core function of weight shift is that it gives the player a higher chance to control where they strike the ground and the further forward you can move your weight and more specifically your entire pelvis more towards the target uh, um, as you strike the golf ball and even through impact, it's easier to strike the ground closer to the golf ball or even slightly ahead. And if you're better able to do that, you can make more solid contact and you're gonna have higher distances to your shots and more consistency overall. Now, the players that tend to lack enough weight shift into their lead side, their whole pelvis will tend to stay further behind the golf ball and when that happens, there is just more likely for the player to have their low point behind the golf ball. So they're either going to hit the ground first, or if they compensate, um, they're going to miss the ground totally and top the golf ball at times. So those of you who may understand this concept may be applying it incorrectly. So what I'm going to be doing is, especially if you film yourself from the face on view, I want to give you guys a different way of thinking about it or maybe a better visual that you can use to kind of gauge your positioning or, or to gauge if you're doing it correctly or not. So from this face on view, what I want to do is I, I want you to just kind of imagine that there's a circle around my lead shoulder and a circle around my lead knee, okay? So now all the good players, by the time they make impact, their lead shoulder and their lead knee is more forward in relation to where to where it started at address. So if you can see some circles here, my lead shoulder and my lead knee at address, by the time I get into impact, both my lead shoulder and my lead knee is more forward of where it started. But my, my hips are still slightly more in front of my chest. The vast majority of my weight is on my lead side, okay? Now, when I go through impact, right, I'm completely ahead of the golf ball. My, my head does not stay behind the golf ball too long. So the mistake that I'm seeing for a lot of players is that when they strike the golf ball, they're only thinking of moving their hips to the left and they're leaving their upper body behind um, too much. So the mistake is if I, again, draw those circles on my lead shoulder and my lead knee, you can see that I'm kind of more in this position. So you can see maybe my lead knee is slightly ahead, but my lead shoulder is moving more up and backwards through impact, okay? So with an iron, we don't wanna really do that too much, okay? Because if your upper body hangs back while your, your hip kind of goes really, really far forward, your upper body will tilt too much to the right. And then you can also still get your low point like too far behind the golf ball and perhaps hit too much upwards on it as well. Okay, so you still wanna make sure that overall, your entire body, upper and lower body move to the left, okay? Not just your hip only and your upper body moves backwards. Okay, so that's, that's a really great visual uh, for people to have in order to gauge that. Okay, so from the top, what you have to focus on is you wanna make sure that your your upper body and lower body both shift to the left at the same time, okay? Then through impact, when you start to add, you know, extension um, of the upper body, that's what's gonna allow your head to kind of remain relatively in the same spot through impact, 
and then you can finish kind of forward and ahead of the golf ball. Now on the screen, I just want to share a few examples of some tour pros who demonstrate very similar things that I mentioned. And you can see that when they come closer into impact, that their lead shoulder and their lead knee is just further ahead of where they started at address. And through impact and into the, into the finish, they're finishing mostly ahead of the golf ball. Now, when you watch me in slow motion here performing the incorrect weight shift versus the correct weight shift, you can kind of see that when I do it incorrectly, my lead shoulder is actually moving up and backwards as my hips go forward. Whereas in the correct position, both my lead shoulder and my lead knee is further forward, followed by um, extension of the upper body. And that's what's going to allow my head to remain in the, right, in the right spot for long enough until I get into the finish where I'm totally ahead of the golf ball. Now, if you filmed yourself and you discover that you are someone that's making this mistake, then the first kind of drill that you can do, um, just to give you a, a good feel um, of, of, of what to do correctly and, and how to kind of get yourself out of that pattern, is if you were to put your lead foot against the wall, so in this case, I'm just gonna place a, a straight line from the edge of my lead foot. What you wanna kind of rehearse is your upper back, and your, your hip both moving closer into the wall kind of at the same time, okay? So now, if you were to do your swing um, the way that you normally do, doing it um, in the incorrect way, you're gonna see that your lead shoulder actually moves or wants to move kind of further away from the wall as your hip gets closer to the wall. So you really need to over-exaggerate this and just get a feeling that everything going together at the same time, moving closer in, instead of the, just the hip going closer to the wall, okay? So that's a, a really good uh, drill to get the, the right sensation or feel. And there's another drill that um, I wanna show you guys that will also help you kind of gauge where your weight is through, through impact and into the finish. So for the next drill, you can just grab one of your wedges um, along with the club that you're hitting. Now, um, I, you can either place this, the, the, the face of the wedge like under the heel of your lead foot or the trail foot, they're, they're both gonna do the same. But um, in this case, if you are that player that kind of shifts everything to the left with the hip and then the upper body moves up and back, I would prefer that you put the wedge under your trail heel. Okay, so perhaps I can maybe show you by just by turning around, but um, if you put that wedge kind of underneath your trail heel like this, when you make a swing, if you don't shift enough weight into your lead foot, and you don't finish enough into your lead side, then you'll, you'll probably see that that wedge kind of bounces around or your foot just kind of stays totally on that wedge. So instead, what I want you to do is when you, when you make a swing and you feel like everything going together into the lead side, and when you go to the finish, you wanna finish forward and you wanna make sure that that club falls to the ground. So after you rehearse the drill with the wall, just feeling like the upper and lower kind of shift left uh, more so at the same time, you can grab that wedge, put it under your trail heel, and really make sure that through impact, you're, you're trying to apply that feeling of upper and lower going together. And then when you finish, make sure that right foot comes up all the way off the ground, everything is in front of the golf ball, and that wedge kind of falls to the ground. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you have any comments about anything or need clarification, please leave a comment down below. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss if you want to inquire about my online lessons. I will also leave a link to my website in the description box below as well, just so you can see all of the details. And if you are still curious and you have a bit of time, I would encourage you guys to watch this video next. And this is a video I made a couple weeks back but it's just gonna go over some more drills um, that you guys can apply to help you accomplish or get you more efficient at shifting your weight.